hello again. Um, this is Chaos Pages here. Ooh, I'm getting some really bad frames. Um, yeah, this is the second video of the pre pre patch section of my Legion Let's Play. As you can tell, I am now on part two. So, um, I was able to um, fix the corruption issue um, with the MP4 file, and I've just I just watched it before uh, coming back here. So um, it's uh, pretty sh It's uh, what am I trying to say? It's pretty um, jumpy, and I just want to apologize again for that. Um, the game, um, the game is coming. Um, I can't slow the game down to figure out, or I can't slow the, uh, ah, shit, what am I saying? Hello. Goodbye. Um, I think I might be lagging a little bit, or, nope, that was my passive that I just picked up when I leveled up. I didn't take any damage from that fall. Um, oh, hey, look, there's that guy. Um, what, what was I saying? I can't uh, slow the production, the production speed time of, of the game. I can't stop it from coming out for, um, to give me time to fix whatever's happening. Um, I'll just have to figure it out along the way. I need to keep up. Uh, I need to keep my speed up, and so I can be ready when the game launches. But I'm really sorry about the shitty frame rate. But uh, anybody watching this on YouTube, um, this isn't for you, really. It's uh, for my girlfriend, obviously, and um, she likes Let's Plays to listen to, and so she won't really be watching them that much, will you? Um, so I, f I figure not. it's not an issue, not that it's not an issue, but... Um, it's not as important as uh, actually making these for her. So I will try as I can right uh, right now uh, to fix it. Um, and uh, hopefully I will be able to fix it before the actual launch of Legion. Um, because, you know, we really don't care about me leveling right now. It's just me talking about what I'm going to do and me just chilling until Tuesday. But, um, yeah, so we really don't care about this right now. We care about Legion. We want to see Legion. We want to see what's happening. Uh, we want to see an idiot guy play Legion uh, casually, a dirty, rotten casual, you know. So, oh my god, I got a freaking blue. Um, so that's what we want to see. But either way, I'm really sorry. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything I can do right now that I know of. I will figure it out eventually, though. So, so sorry. Um, but that's what's up. Um, so, yeah, I've gone over what I'm going to do, uh, the plans... And um, if I think of anything else, I will put it in the video. I have not thought of anything else, so I will not say anything right now. But um, since I got to talk for a little while, I'll just talk about uh, World of Warcraft itself and um, my history with World of Warcraft and what's up. Um, so I've been playing World of Warcraft for... Uh, I want to say seven years. Maybe I don't know. Um, it was a. I started around the time of um, the Sunwell raid, so that was patch two point four. Um, I was playing on my friend's account at the time. He would only. God, I wish I knew what that sound was. It's so annoying. Um, I only ever got to like level 20 something because um, you know it was his account and he would always delete my characters because he didn't care about him 
which I've done. I've deleted, I've deleted my friend's characters on my account because um, he got his own account and I don't need him anymore. So it's not really something you would, um, you know, it's not a crime or anything. But um, yeah, so I never really got that high. And then um, in Wrath of the Lich King, uh, I want to say patch 3.1. So the Ulduar patch, I got, or, or actually, not not exactly. Don't don't take my word for that. It was it was around that time. Um, I got my own account, and I got to play on my own account. And uh, this was before that patch that made everything easy. Um, or was it hard? I don't remember. There was a patch that did something or other to the quality of the game uh, I don't know I'm, I'm rambling though um, so yeah I got my own account and I've been playing since um, my own account since then and so I guess you could say god it's so freaking annoying maybe that's when a moth dies let's kill this moth and find out um, yeah, it didn't do it that time I don't know uh, anyway I've been playing since since then on my own account. Um, I didn't play in Classic, so I can't speak for Classic. I can't speak for Classic. I can't speak much for Burning Crusade because uh, I didn't get that high level when I was playing Burning Crusade. Maybe it is a moth noise. But I can say that I freaking hate Burning Crusade. I hate this, I hate this expansion. I hate this whole goddamn place. It's ugly. It's boring. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said in the other, the the previous video, I am a story guy. I play the game for the story of the game, and this game or this expansion story makes no goddamn sense at all. And so, it's it used to be my my least favorite, you could say, or my most hated until recently. But, um, yeah. Um, so, I grew up, so to speak, in, in Wrath. I like Wrath. It's, um, in, it's, uh, in many ways, it's my, um, introduction to WoW. Um, I don't think it's as great as people make it out to be. Um, I understand that there's a social element that was lost after Wrath. But, um, that's not a big concern to me. I only... Uh, I would only play with a couple people anyway. Um, there's a freaking guy there and he could kill me. There's that sound again. Um, but yeah, I think Wrath is blown out of proportion. It was good, but, um, you know, it's not that good, I don't think. If I compare it to... I compare what I experienced in Wrath to what I have experienced in Burning Crusade. It's the same to me. There's there's really nothing different, nothing special. Um, I don't think anything special was added to this uh, game until um, I mean, besides Death Knights, I play I play a Death Knight, so it's kind of weird of me to say that Wrath uh, isn't that good. I've been expecting you. And I'm not saying it's not good, I'm just saying it's not like the freaking crown jewel of the gaming industry. Um, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Wrath of the Lich King. Um, so, um, what am I talking about now? I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, Wrath of Lich King, um, yeah, so that's what I think, it was good, wasn't that good, I mean, not, not that it wasn't that good, it was good, it wasn't, like, insanely good, but it was a good game, um, I'm gonna catch a lot of flack for this, but I will say that Cataclysm was my favorite expansion, and once again, that is because I am, like, a story guy, um, I'm a lore buff, I like lore, I like story, and when I say that, I don't mean just um, fight me. 
I don't I mean. So long. We do the quest. Survive. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't mean just the story of WoW. I like, I like story itself. Like I, I play a game, any game, to experience the story of it. That's why I don't uh, PvP much or do any of those things that aren't story related. I like the story of the game. Um, and uh, one of my um, what am I what am I talking about? I keep losing my train of thought. One of the one of my favorite parts of WoW is the the old gods and um, the stuff the the things that are inspired by H.P. Lovecraft. It's cool and creepy, you know, in the darkness, and it's like, oh no, you know. Um, and so I thought that the end of the world and the cataclysm and all that was like a cool story, like oh, this is sick, you know, the world is gonna be destroyed and whatnot. And so that's why I, I really enjoy Cataclysm. And um, once again, Cataclysm isn't anything special. It doesn't really bring anything of its own. And it doesn't really add anything special to the game besides, like, archaeology. And I like archaeology myself, but I know a lot of people do not. They find it tedious. Um, and for those people, archaeology is making some changes. So you... Um, you might want to look into it again and see and see what the changes are um yeah so that's what's up with that um and uh, mr pandaria i liked i liked mr pandaria um even though once again i catch a lot of flack for this uh, people didn't like mr pandaria because of um the pandas obviously the pandas and some other reasons that i don't fully understand from what I've heard, the rating was good, so I, I don't know why you can't complain much. Um, there were there were um, problems with uh, the reputations and the gear that was gated behind reputation rewards, our reputation progression, rather, and um, so many freaking daily quests. Um, I liked, I liked it. I don't like, um, I don't like there to be too much stuff I have to do. Uh, the new world quest system in Legion is, is is looking pretty good because there's a lot of stuff to do, but you don't have to do that to get to a goal. Like, it's just another thing to do, and it's a goal in and of itself, and it's optional. And I like that. Miss um, Pandaria didn't have that, but it did have a lot of story, and I like the story once again. Um, and I like the patch cycle and how, you know, how they had the the in-between patches that were, you know, special little lore patches and uh, how each faction had like a like a story arc behind it. That guy will kill me if I touch him. I think I need to abandon this quest for the moment while this guy does his thing and I will have to come back later. But yeah, I like that story and whatnot. I'm, I was a little upset at first when I heard about it because it felt weird to me. I'm getting really tired of that noise. It felt weird to me that um, we would go to like this serene Asian, you know, Asian um, tranquil inner peace theme after we had just endured the end of the world. Um, so that kind of felt uh, weird timing. But I thought they brought it all together at the end with the um, the old gods, bringing the old gods into it. Um, so it didn't feel like a, just a filler expansion. It actually meant something, and arguably, it's uh, it's the expansion where we actually did something. Because um, if you think of classic, we had uh, we had the raids Zul Garub, um, Ankiraj. Blackwing Lair, and uh, Next Ramas, and uh, Molten Core, and I think that's everything. I'm not sure. Um, and in Molten Core, Ragnaros came back in Cataclysm. Ankiraj, Cthun is not dead because he's an old god, he's not dead. Um, next, Ramus came back in Wrath. Zulgarub got a revamp, and Hakar is still alive. 
and uh, Blackwing Lair Nefarian came back in Cataclysm. So, you know, we didn't really freaking do anything at all. And uh, in in uh, Burning Crusade, you know, yeah, we killed a, a couple guys here and there, and uh, we killed Illidan, and Illidan was trying to help us. We just found out um, he's actually on our side, and we killed him, and uh, we killed kill we supposedly we we killed killed Jaden. Um, we thought. But, um, you know, we don't see a body, he's not dead. Uh, we didn't actually kill, kill Jaden. Kill, kill Jaden, ha, ha, ha. Um, kill Jaden's still alive, comes back in Legion. Um, so we didn't freaking do anything in... In, uh... What am I talking about? In Burning Crusade. And Wrath of the Lich King, Yag saran we didn't kill him, because you can't kill old gods. He's still out there. Um, we didn't kill the we or we killed Arthas, but uh, now a different guy, Bolvar Four Dragon, is wearing the freaking helm of domination. So you know the Lich King's still out there. So we didn't freaking do anything there. And uh, Cataclysm, we did we did kill Deathwing. So um, I suppose you know that's a win for us. Uh, Deathwing is dead, but his Deathwing is uh, was merely a harbinger for the old gods, and he was carrying out the will of Nizoth. We, we believe um, from what Blizzard has said that uh, quote unquote we haven't met the guy who gives Deathwing his paycheck or whatever um, so you know that's kind of a win kind of not because his boss is still out there and then in Missa Pandaria we actually kill an old god because he was killed be in, before in the in ancient times he was he was killed but his heart and his spirit was like trapped inside his heart or something and uh we killed his heart because it was safe um you you cannot kill an old god that is inhabiting the planet because it will damage the planet but he was um yes uh yesharaj the old god of mr pandaria was himself killed and uh, the damage from his death was fixed um, but he was killed, and he was ripped out of the planet, so it was safe for us to kill him. And so now he is actually permanently dead. Um, so arguably, Mr. Pandaria is not a filler expansion, because we actually did something for once. Um, so yeah, I actually liked Mr. Pandaria, and I would go so far to say as... I would go so far as to say that it was really the best expansion that this game has ever had in terms of the content and what it offers and everything and it you know it brings it its own special thing to the table which is uh, pet battles I know a lot of people don't like pet battles because oh it's just Pokemon you know but uh, uh, Pokemon Go is actually really popular so I don't know what people are complaining about it's like Pokemon I guess people like Pokemon so what's the problem here um, I, l I like pet battles kind of uh, they get annoying if I just binge them. I can't take that. I have to stop. But, um, you know, it's just another piece of content that the game has. And Mop brings that to the game. Um, and obviously I'm ignoring things that are, that other expansions have brought because I'm talking about Mop. But um, I got I got sidetracked. For, uh, excuse me. I got, I, got, I got sidetracked. I'm sorry. Um... And, uh, like, Burning Crusade obviously brought the arena, which is a big part of the game today. So, not saying that's nothing. I'm just saying that I, I liked I liked Mr. Pandaria because of the content it offered. And now we get to the root of all my woes. And I have about ten minutes to explain all this. But, um... I said before that Burning Crusade is my was my former least favorite expansion, and that is because I have a new least favorite and most hated, and that is uh, Warlords of Draenor. And uh, I could say, you know, oh, you know, it didn't have much to do, and I didn't like it because the story sucked and it didn't make sense. But um, I have ten minutes, so I'm going to go on a freaking rampage rant about Warlords of Draenor. And I'm going to praise it, and then I'm going to bash it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give you both sides. Um, but uh, there's nothing I can say, really, that hasn't already been said by someone else. So 
anybody if this is on YouTube anybody watching this will you know you'll know what it you know what's up you, you'll you'll understand so you can just you can agree with me you can not but you've probably heard it before so warlords was a great idea in that um, they'll take us to an alternate reality in a different time period on a different world it's completely removed from the main story and already it's like okay this is um, if you make a reason for us to go there this is nice because you know it's just a distraction it's just waste time for Blizzard to um, increase the life of the game you know save more important stories for later that's good um, and so they bring us here they bring us to this place and it's kind of like it kind of looks like Outland it kind of looks like the Burning Crusade which is good because people like the Burning Crusade um, and it's like nostalgia and it brings people back and it did and it brought every freaking person back we were at 12 million I think I knew we were back up to 12 million subscriptions at the time um, so you know that was good and uh, it had a good launch you know the starting experience was god damn it guy you stole my mother trucking thing I do not have my poisons on you see I, I told you last video I don't know how to play a rogue I'm gonna put my poisons on after this guy actually I won't wait yes I will I will put my poisons on deadly poison Does, can I put two poisons on or just one I hope I can put two on um, so I had a good launch I had a good starting experience starting experience was good the leveling was good um, obviously I can't take it anymore because I've done it eight times so it does get tedious but what leveling doesn't you know that's not a that's not a mark against it um, it was good and then it had a good it had a good campaign a max level campaign but it was time gated and so it was like slightly annoying in that I had nothing to do between chapters um, that was slightly annoying but uh, once you got to max level you realized you didn't have anything to do um, once a day there are no white women on this server Wow okay whatever you say buddy um, blah. I'm gonna get this reward I don't want that three four. okay once you got to max level there was nothing to do and um, what what you did you got a you got a um, a quest to kill a bunch of guys and then you were done and you go home and you get these little crystals these apexis crystals that nobody freaking cares about um, that you need way too much of to buy things and they do things and it's just annoying um, but yeah that's all you had to do and I me personally I was like this kind of sucks but you know whatever I'll give it a chance and then they came out with the raids and I was like okay this is cool and they have the legendary quest and I'm like cool um, I'm kind of annoyed that it was a ring the legendary is a freaking ring like who cares about it's a ring and on top of it being a ring there is so many Lord of the Rings references that went to waste just so many and it was kind of disappointing um, so yeah that's cool and then they came out with 6.1 that didn't do anything it had a freaking jukebox you got a jukebox and there was a chance at getting a mount that's all that it had I mean there are other stuff but it was like that was like hot fixes and, and crap that made the game better and uh, some, maybe some other stuff like drop rates increase and stuff but um, the highlight of 6.1 is your freaking jukebox and um, it sucked and uh, it did have a raid to come with it though it did have the Black Rock Foundry but um, in all honesty that should have came out before 6.1 it should we should have had it already um, so that was kind of disappointing um, but me personally I was like okay you know it's, it, it's just the first patch I'll give it a chance even though it can hardly be called a patch um, so Greetings, I waited traveler. what brings you here um, and then the next patch comes out 6.2 comes out and I'm like oh cool there's a new there's a new zone and you know some gear and the raid and some you know it has the it has some of the same stuff the Texas stuff 
but it has dailies. Oh, it has new dailies and new mounts and stuff to get, and it has this quests and you know this this little this little story arc. And I'm like, oh, this is cool because you know I love the story, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I like to do this stuff. You know, it's good. And then I completed it, and then I realized, oh, there's nothing else to do. And then they 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 inter- they also introduced this cool this cool concept the the shipyard. They introduced the shipyard, and I'm like, oh, it's sick. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like Battle on the High Seas. Um, from Mr. Pandaria, that the, that um, scenario, if you all remember that, um, that's what the freaking shipyard should have been, and it wasn't, and it was just it was just the command table again, Hello, man. and that was kind of disappointing. Spirits be with you. And that's all there was, and um, you know, I'm like, oh, it's just the first, it's just the first raid patch, you know, it's not a big deal. And then I heard that that was it, that was the end of the expansion. And I said to myself, what the hell? One patch. One patch expansion because you can't count the freaking jukebox as a patch. It's, it, that's, that's an insult to what patches are. Um, and they were just so... I, I personally thought Ar- Archimon would die, right? And then Gul'dan would be sent to kill Jaden... And Kil'jaeden would send Gul'dan back to turn Grom into the new Lich King, and I thought we would have another Lich King because I, because in theme with the um, with the nostalgia, they would do Lich King again. Um, that's what I thought was going to happen, but I was disappointed because apparently that was the end, and I thought it was kind of fishy that um, I thought it was fishy that. The uh, that a that the first raid, the first raid patch would have a cinematic after the end of it. Cinematic after the end of it. And I was like, this is kind of weird. And it turns out that was because it's the freaking end of the expansion. And I'm like, well, this is kind of embarrassing. But now we know that they did that because they thought Legion would be out earlier, and so they, you know, they thought they'd throw these little mini expansions at us. Here's an expansion. Here's a boom, 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 boom. You know. Um, but Luckily, they discovered that they do not have the capability to pump out a story in only a year. Um, it's just not possible at this point in time with the technology we have. So luckily, we won't be seeing that happen again. And I'm just glad that they that they screwed up with Warlords because it is an alternate universe. And um, I hate alternate universes, and it doesn't matter to the main story at all. I'm, I'm a big DC fan. And I hate the New 52 and all that, that rebirth, and I hate all that stuff. I hate alternate universes. They are so annoying. So luckily they screwed up with that instead of, like, with Legion, which that would suck. Um, there is another issue with WAD that I could address, but I only have, like, two minutes. And I, I want to keep these videos 30 minutes long, so I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I'll get into that later, but... Um, that's kind of my history with WoW, and uh, what what I think of each individual expansion. Um, I love WoW. Um, it's the I just love the the freedom that you get. You know, see, I'm a rogue. I can be a rogue. You know, I can sneak around, and I've got my daggers and shit. And, and oh, you know, I could turn into a freaking demon if I wanted to. Oh, I could be a freaking Draenei, or an Eridar, rather. I can do this. I can pretend to be this. I'm sneaking around, you know. I can I can do my own thing, and there, there are quests, there are stories in place, but I can make my own story. I can RP if I want to. There are some RP zones in the game. I can do whatever I want, you know. And I like that. Um, the, on- the only thing I think WoW is lacking is an option to be bad. Which they're kind of doing in the, in the Legion pre-patch. You can be... God, that, that thing is just so annoying, whatever that sound is. Um, I think... Like, if I could join the Burning Legion, like, if I could attack Orgrimmar if I wanted to with a raid of people, I think that would be a good, that would be a cool thing, but, um, I don't know if it can happen in WoW, so, yeah, but, uh, that's all I think it's missing, but otherwise, you know, I love WoW, it's, it's my favorite game, 
and um, yeah so um, that's that's about 30 minutes so I'll just wrap this one up and make sure it it saved and if it didn't then um, I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shit bricks um, then I'm gonna kill it but uh, we'll see so I'll see you next time